There's a molecule most people have never heard of that quietly decides when your brain is done for the day. It's called adenosine. And if you understand adenosine, you'll understand caffeine. Adenosine builds up as a byproduct of using energy. And your brain, it's an expensive operation metabolically. It takes a lot of fuel just to keep you awake and focused, thinking, making decisions. As adenosine accumulates in the brain, it binds to receptors that signal something important. We burn through a lot of fuel today and we're running hot. That's what we call sleep pressure. As that pressure builds, motivation drops, recall gets worse, creativity fades, and you get grumpy. The brain is slowly shifting toward rest and recovery. And eventually, no matter how much you fight it, adenosine wins and forces sleep. Now here's where caffeine comes in. Caffeine doesn't give you energy. It doesn't fix fatigue. What it does is it blocks adenosine receptors. It's basically earplugs for the brain. The signal's still there. The brain just can't hear it. And presto, you feel alert. But here's the problem. While you're enjoying that productivity, adenosine keeps building in the background. You're still burning fuel. And when caffeine levels fall, all that adenosine suddenly binds to the receptors again. And now there's more of it than before. That's what they call the caffeine crash. And with daily caffeine use, that crash often gets worse. The caffeine hack's pretty effective until the brain learns the con. Within a week or two, the brain adapts by making more adenosine receptors. That amplifies the fatigue signal even more when caffeine wears off. That's why so many people hit a wall in the late afternoon or early evening. So how do you use caffeine skillfully? Treat caffeine like a tool, not a drip. One or two modest doses early in the day, but don't start right when you wake up. Give it an hour or two. Your body already has systems to bring you online. Get some light in your face and give them a chance to work. And cut caffeine off early enough that it can clear before bedtime. For most people, that means nothing after about 2 p.m. If you kick the can down the road too far on fatigue, you get into a cycle of sleep deprivation. If you don't let sleep pressure build up over the last eight hours or so of the day, you won't get the depth and quantity of sleep you need that night, even if you fall asleep fine. You can only pay a sleep debt with sleep. It's the only way to effectively clear the cash on adenosine so you start the day with a fresh reset. So the goal isn't to eliminate caffeine. It's to stop using it to outrun sleep. That will kill you early.